whether a chai wala or a tea seller on the street is earning more than a senior scientist in a top notch biotech company in india or abroad devi anta na adu on four years in martta idan one tea banbutta na 15 rupees ana ana daily vanda 600 rinda 650 tea coffee hogutte tinglege aguthe na vanda dina karana rande 18 1800 1800 1800 Time and again, we keep getting hit by trolls, or I should say, negative people, and they keep coming to us with different types of uh, arguments, saying that the biotech industry is a no-show, no-go. Whether instead they should go for something else. While they might have a better understanding of the Indian economy and the global economy, I still believe that biotech industry provides plethora of opportunities to a lot many of you, and will pr- keep providing in the future. But This particular comment really hit my nerve. So, I thought let's make a video to respond to this and it will be a fun comparison to find out whether a chai wala or a tea seller on the street is earning more than a senior scientist in a top-notch biotech company in India or abroad. So, we will not look at the best tea seller in the market versus the best guy in the biotech company but the average salary comparisons we will do to be very frank a tea seller is in, into a business while a biotech scientist is not into a business he is in a profession so you really can't compare apples and oranges because most probably mr tea seller is not taking a salary whatever is his profit he might be presuming that as his salary so whatever is the cost which he has incurred minusing that then only you can say okay this person has earned this much as his salary but apart from that let's look at the gross income they both are going to have looking at a senior scientist in a biotech company currently as we speak in india senior scientist in startups are earning somewhere around 12 to 15 lakhs per annum indian rupees as they progress like 10 years 20 years they might be well beyond 50 lakhs per annum but since we are talking about average let's take a average of 25 lakhs per annum. is the salary of a senior scientist in companies such as Biocon, Syngine and various other pharma companies like Zydus and Torrent, Dr. Reddy's as well. So 12 to 25 lakhs is where the salary point sits for a senior scientist in a biotech company. Now let's go to global level. In the global level, you have scientists earning in between $80,000, that's a minimum, and it goes up to $300,000 per dollar. So let's take an average, $150,000. So that's the you know, median median salary which a senior scientist is earning in a global pharma now, since we are talking about averages so now let's come to the t seller so mr t seller uh, name is mr manju so mr manju is earning somewhere in between 6 lakhs per annum up to 12 lakhs per annum so that's his income the total money which he got from his chai shop or the chai wala shop and now the question is how much out of that 12 lakhs is his money now that is where most of the commenters who say that no the chai wala earns more than the senior scientist here is the catch a chai wala even though he earned 12 lakhs per annum so let's say per month he's earning 1 lakh rupees so that's the average salary now if he earned 1 lakh rupees he must have spent on staff salaries he must have spent on the input cost that is the the sugar the tea the leaves the milk um, buying them in bulk and then of course um, making the tea and then of course he must be paying a big component as a rent for that particular chai dhaba right so now that we know okay majority of his what we saw 1 lakh rupees he earned we got excited oh my god instead of doing biotech i should have done a chai wala shop i would have earned more the truth is this chai wala is actually spending more than the biocon scientist on his business so what happens is now the minuscule amount let's say 30000 or 40000 rupees he might be able to save for his himself and his family so it's not true that a chai wala earns more prima facie it looks like he's earning a lot of money but the truth is he's not because his input cost and the rental will keep increasing over a period period of time while the business is not defensible so i'll come to that a little later but now coming to the senior scientist in a company such as biocon or any other big pharma companies one thing which we have to know is this person who is a senior scientist in this particular company whatever money he is getting it is getting for himself he is not he need not employ people who would do things for him so of course he must be living in a good house so let's say he is paying rent or maybe he has bought the house and he's paying EMIs whatever might be he's spending on himself not on his company so whatever salary he got it is for him and not for the company biocon or 
company Sinjin or Zydus or Torrent. So what happens now is this is what maximum people miss. They feel that the opportunities are less in the biotech sector while you can just open a shop and start selling tea, you can earn more. But my question to you is, which is more defensible idea? See, if you become a senior scientist in a, se- in a biotech company, nobody can compete with you. As your age progresses, you will gain experience. You will become more valuable for the company. You will publish more papers. Your living standard will improve. Your working environment will be different. And you will be working in a hygienic environment. While a tea seller, he is struggling on the street and he is selling tea to the people, random people. And if the tea is not good, random people can come and yell at him. So the work environment and experience is not that great. And of course, he has a lot of pressure because tomorrow next door if someone opens a bigger tea shop people will start going there you must have heard of how cafe coffee day or you know these uh, third wave coffee have cropped up and now people prefer going there even though the pricing is higher even then people prefer going there instead of going to our local tea in chaiwala so that's where the answer is but now we'll come to the next part what happens in the future so Let's say the economy is going down. Okay, so we know that the economy goes up and then it comes down. So when the economy goes down, probably if this senior scientist loses his job, which most of the cases he won't because he is in a defensible business, pharma and biotech is an evergreen field. But even if he loses his job, he can easily get a job somewhere else because he has so much uh, papers published, he has a reputation, he has worked and work experiences there. But when the economy starts going down in this shy way, people of course they will, they will never stop drinking tea probably might lose out to competition because someone else can have a bigger better chai haba or uh, shop and people might switch there right so it's not a defensible business plus of course there are multiple other cha- challenges when you run a business like the chai wala now coming to the last part right that there are some companies like cafe coffee day or mba chai wala or dolly chai wala you must have heard of all these biotech chai wala btech whatever you know chai walas are there they are running into a different business which is scalable they are going into franchisee they are opening shops in multiple cities even then the profit margins are not that great please go and check it out so if you feel that a chai wala can earn more than a biotech scientist my suggestion is please go ahead and do that and you will regret 10 years later because 10 years later this biotech scientist will have ip that is intellectual property patents papers reputation experience and a lot of network he would have built um, in his um, company and beyond his company so he can easily get a job anywhere and he can grow in his career while achaiwala will be stuck at what he is earning today so these are my uh, thoughts about question if the chaiwala earns more than a biotech scientist but for those who still believe that no a chaiwala can earn more than a biotech scientist i would suggest that go ahead open a chaiwala shop a tea, tea stall experience it for 2 years and then we will come and talk right so thank you so much for watching this video i know this was a uh, kind of a fun video comparing to different professions probably in the future i'll come up with some similar comparisons let me know in the comment section which profession i should compare with a biotech scientist so that we can compare and contrast and find out who earns more and who has more more earning potential we will keep making more such videos for you if you have any video request anything you want me to um, share with you or our team to share with you and i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining have fun take care bye bye